Welcome to the Daily Quiz Podcast. Today's category is general knowledge. Let's get to it. Question 1. Which film star's biography was called Neither Shaken Nor Stirred? The answer is Sean Connery. Sean Connery, the iconic actor who portrayed James Bond, had a biography titled Neither Shaken Nor Stirred. This clever play on words not only references his famous catchphrase but also highlights his ability to remain cool and composed in any situation, just like the legendary secret agent he brought to life on the silver screen. Question 2. What is the oldest soft drink in the USA? The answer is Dr. Pepper. Did you know that Dr. Pepper was actually invented before Coca-Cola? While Coca-Cola is often considered the quintessential American soft drink, Dr. Pepper predates it by one year. It was created in 1885 by pharmacist Charles Alderton in Waco, Texas. So next time you enjoy a refreshing Dr. Pepper, remember that you're sipping on a piece of American beverage history. Question 3. The refraction of light by ice crystals causes a what to form around the sun? The answer is... Halo. When ice crystals are present in the atmosphere, they can act as tiny prisms that refract sunlight. This phenomenon creates a stunning optical illusion known as a halo, encircling the sun with a ring of vibrant colors. So next time you spot this celestial spectacle, remember it's not just your eyes playing tricks on you. Question 4. In what European city was the first book in English published? The answer is... Bruges, Belgium. Bruges, the picturesque city in Belgium, holds the honor of being the birthplace of the first book ever published in English. In 1473, William Caxton set up his printing press there and produced the Requile of the Histories of Troy. This groundbreaking achievement marked a significant milestone in English literature and paved the way for countless books to come. Question 5. What is the fear of nuclear weapons known as? The answer is nucleometaphobia. Nucleometaphobia, the fear of nuclear weapons, is a real and understandable concern. However, did you know that there is a place on Earth where nuclear weapons are banned? The Treaty of Tlatelolco established Latin America and the Caribbean as a nuclear weapon-free zone, making it the first densely populated region in the world to achieve this status. Question 6. What TV comedian with no ID card was asked to give a Tarzan yell to verify her identity at Bergdorf Goodman? The answer is... Carol Burnett. When TV comedian Carol Burnett found herself without her ID card while shopping at Bergdorf Goodman, the staff had a creative solution. They asked her to give a Tarzan yell to prove her identity. Without missing a beat, Burnett let out a mighty jumble cry, leaving everyone in awe and confirming that she was indeed the one and only Carol Burnett. Question 7. What country's capital is Caracas? The answer is... Venezuela. Caracas, the capital of Venezuela, is not only known for its vibrant culture and stunning landscapes but also for having the world's longest and highest cable car system. The Teleférico de Caracas stretches over 12 kilometers, taking passengers on a breathtaking journey to the top of Mount Avila, offering panoramic views of the city below. Question 8. Which flower is named after the beautiful youth killed by Apollo? The answer is hyacinth. 
In Greek mythology, the flower hyacinth is named after a beautiful youth who was tragically killed by Apollo. Legend has it that Hyacinth and Apollo were playing a game of discus when a jealous Zephyrus, the god of the west wind, blew the discus off course, striking Hyacinth and causing his untimely demise. From his blood sprouted a stunning flower with petals resembling Apollo's tears. Question 9. The upper horizontal part of a classical order, between a capital and a roof, it consists of the architrave, frieze, and cornice. The answer is entablature. The entablature, the upper horizontal part of a classical order, is not just a decorative element but also tells a story. In ancient Greece, it was used to depict mythological scenes or historical events. So next time you see an entablature, take a closer look you might discover an ancient tale hidden in plain sight. And with that, we bid adieu to this whirlwind of general knowledge. May your brain stay sharp and your curiosity never cease. Until we meet again, keep on quizzing. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. It's time for us to say goodbye until we see each other again tomorrow. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. See the show notes page for sources and credits. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.